Alright, um, I will be here tomorrow. What time is Brandy coming in here? 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so we want to make sure we have everything ready for Press 51 and information for them. Okay? And then, uh, I got Sorry, ITWFS will be here this afternoon. Okay. All right. What time they play? Uh, one o'clock. Okay. All right. So we'll be here at one. All right. Uh, we have improvement. There's no pictures. So the improvement. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's like a lot of subtle improvements that we don't take pictures of. And this point went out that just the other day we talked about the baggies up here. They brought them down from the shelf. Well, there wasn't a label on them. At that time, now there's a label on it. So you can just see the different improvements. It's become part of this natural just to make the improvement and just put it forth, which I really appreciate. So I, I don't know who did it because nobody sent me anything, but uh, I have a good idea of it. So let's just give them a hand. So I appreciate it. So those are the things that's why I continue to just make better. So that's the great thing to see happen. All right? All right, we were talking about the team members in the... Uh, the Anton system and how people have to detect some of the problems. So, Hiroyoshi Yashiki was originally trained in human resources in Japan. He was involved in the early and site selection of Georgetown plant. We asked him what stood out most about the difference between culture between Toyota and Japan and what we saw when starting out the TMFK. He did not hesitate. We were most surprised by the reaction of the people when we asked them about problems. In Toyota, we always ask, what is the problem? The reaction from Americans was, were very, very negative. We were surprised. It does not have to be any does not have to be any negative connotation for us in Japan. What is the problem? When we asked this, that question of a person, it was like, oops, in the United States. People think I messed up. What is the problem? What's the first thing I experienced when I joined Toyota? You hear this everywhere, every day at Toyota. How can we make the word problem a positive word rather than a negative word? It is very much a unique example of Toyota culture. We asked what the countermeasure was to the dilemma. He explained further. At first, we did not know how we could remove the negative connotation from problem. We worked hard to separate the problem from the person. We are not accusing you, he explained. We just want to know the facts to resolve the undesirable condition to you and the company. It is not for accusation of any human being. We have tried, we have tried hard to convince the people. That took time, repeatedly going to the production floor and encouraging the team members to come forward with the problem rather than hide it. The cultural assumptions about problems in traditional Western culture compared to Toyota culture are summarized. When there is a serious error of performance, is below the extended, expected level of traditional, Western advancement goes into action to place the blame. Who did it? What is the proper punishment? The assumption is the problems are caused by people. Ask the five who's to find the cause. Here is a mock example. We'll go into example tomorrow, but obviously the problem, we just talked about it upstairs. They are problems, we need to fix problems. We can say the word opportunity all we want, but there's a problem, right? So we want to make sure we just identify that situation and find out why. Again, ask yourself five times why to get to the really root cause. 